Hey guys, Darren here. Welcome to Mayhem Country Living. I want to show you what we're working on today. Right now, we are making a brine to store our feta long term. We found a big block of feta cheese, really good price, uh, two and a half pounds for ten dollars. Obviously, you can't eat that much feta cheese, but if you add a brine to them, they will store for up to six months. Just pop them in the refrigerator and they will keep just like this. Pull out the hunk of feta and rinse it off with a little bit of water and you are good to go. Now, I'm gonna show you what we do is uh, the measurements were in uh, metric, so I converted them for us. One kilogram of water equals 35, almost, you know, 35 and a half ounces, 36 ounces. 100 grams of salt, which is three and a half ounces. Interesting to note the, uh, the relationship, the 10 to one. And uh, we're using sea salt. Um, we're not using anything iodized, anything like that. I have weighed this out. And that shows you what it did weigh. We'll tear it out again. Pull it back up here. Three and a half ounces. So we're going to pour this into our water, non chlorinated, Berkey water out of the Berkey or whatever filtration system that you use. And I'll go ahead and mix this up and. Uh, We'll get it going. More to come. All right. Now, this is the second batch that I have done. Now, we don't eat feta a whole lot, but since we are growing all those microgreens downstairs, feta with a salad is fantastic. So this feta will probably last us a very long time and with the shortages that we are seeing it's a great opportunity to buy in bulk as long as you can figure out how to store it properly or it will end up looking like that and the hooch asked me what was that and I said that is our science experiment um that is disgusting now, all we're going to do is take the feta, we're gonna cut it up into chunks. Just like this. One day when I have a lot of time, we'll actually make some feta. hoping I could get a couple more in there. There we go. Maybe that'll work. I'll show you. The salt solution prevents spoiling and helps store it. Actually, it would probably store, well, I'm not going to do it, but it would probably store on a shelf. Um, last one. These are just extra jars that I always save and uh, clean them out and use them for this kind of stuff. That way, we save our mason jars. And this one, and 
this one. Okay guys, there you have it. We are able to store two and a half pounds of feta uh, for six months in that brine solution. And like I said, I might try one small jar in a cool dry place um, with no refrigeration. I'm curious just to see what it would do. Um, and uh, how well the brine would protect it. Brian should take care of it. It's just like, uh, you, you know, well, it's it's super saturated uh, salt solution. So, take care of you people, guys. Yes, I heard you. That was so freaking funny. She said, Brian, who? That was funny. <laughs>